Good afternoon, everyone. Chasing down a story from last month, we keep hearing that there's decline in polar bear populations because there's no sea ice for them to roam around on. Uh, contrary. Sea ice off Newfoundland thickest ever. Too thick for Coast Guard cutters. And surprisingly, polar bears are coming ashore off that sea ice. Several of them had to be put down because they were actually a danger to the public. Twilling Gate. Where'd we see this before? Oh, yeah, that's where they're having all the iceberg tourism this year, 2017. Also, you've been told that the ice is descending into minimum of all time. Well, it doesn't really look like it on this chart here by the NSIDC. Oh, and Arctic temperatures? Yeah, they're a little bit below normal this time of the year for the last three weeks. Even though there's sea ice now and they, none of the models came true of all the melting, well, now it's because it's not old enough ice. Regardless of the age, it still has an albedo effect reflecting sunlight back to space. And that's exactly what Lee Wheelbarger and myself talked about on episode 23 of Mini Ice Age Conversations. This albedo effect, the increasing clouds of the galactic cosmic rays, and how our weather's going to shift over the next year and a half. Mini Ice Age Conversations on Stitcher, Radio, iTunes, and SoundCloud. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. And how many times have we had this same story pass across the news desk? Polar bears in trouble, sea ice retreating, all-time record lows. Yet the sea ice this year off of Newfoundland, thickest ever recorded. So thick that the Coast Guard cutters and icebreakers couldn't even deal with it. Why not here for you showing the pack ice where the polar bears actually came off of that on land, which created a huge problem because they are supposed to stay out there on that pack ice. They had to put several of them down because they actually came into town. This is a rarity that they come off that thick pack ice. So much out there, and we're told that it's melting into oblivion and all the polar bears are going to drown or something. Now, there were a dozen of those polar bears that came ashore. In the previous years, there were zero. So something has definitely shifted there. Twilling Gate is the area that this is happening. We've seen this before in the news where the crab fishermen found it impossible to get through that sea ice and they're asking for compensation from the government because the sea ice was so much heavier than usual. Images here for you of just in the bays and waterways trying to get out there to their fishing grounds. Twilling Gate also has an enormous amount of icebergs and the iceberg tourism this year is something to behold. There's so many icebergs, record amount. We're told the sea ice is declining into infinity, but as you see right here, uh, it's not really doing that. And they also forget to tell you that the Arctic temperatures are below normal for this time of the year. Oh, for the last three weeks, but that, that never makes the news feed. Only when it's a one degree warmer and it's a, suddenly a world headline. Two degrees cooler for three weeks on end. Yeah, that doesn't even scratch the surface. You'll never hear about that one unless you do your own research. Also, another thing they keep putting out is the age of the sea ice. The age of the sea ice. They're trying to confuse you. It's still sea ice. They're trying to tell you there's no sea ice, but now because there's so much sea ice, they need to differentiate and try to split a hair and say, well, it's not old sea ice, so it doesn't really count. But regardless of the age of the sea ice, it's still sea ice and it has an albedo effect, which is bouncing that sunlight back off into space. Now we're going to see more of this cloud cover. We're going to see reduced temperatures across the planet. We're starting to see that already. And after July and August of this year, moving forward into 2018 and 19, oh my gosh, everything's going to flip on a dime here. And keep in mind, as the temperatures keep falling, they're going to keep coming up with excuses and different diversions as to why the models aren't working out. Age of the sea ice is just another one in their toolbox. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. And if you like the information I'm putting out, please consider supporting me over on Patreon.